Good evening, everyone. Thank you for your kind attention for this presentation. To introduce myself, my name is Theodora Dusti, and I am a resident in oral medicine program. In this presentation, I am going to talk about oral manifestation related to COVID-19, mimicking herpes zoster virus infection. For introduction, SARS coronavirus 2, also known as SARS-CoV-2, was first found in Wuhan, China, December 2019. And World Health Organization on 11 March stated that SARS-CoV-2 that causes coronavirus disease is a global pandemic. Confirmed cases of COVID-19 until February have reached more than 100 million cases, with more than 2 million deaths, and a total of 223 countries have reported cases of COVID-19. There are symptoms often found in patients with COVID-19 which appear 2 until 14 days after exposure. In addition, COVID-19 also has skin manifestation. Oral mucosa is also suspected to be the target of SARS-CoV-2 and oral manifestation have been reported. In this case report, we will discuss oral lesion mimicking lesions caused by herpes zoster virus in a confirmed COVID-19 patient. In this section, I will present the case. A 36 years old female diagnosed with endometrial carcinoma and diabetes mellitus referred to the oral disease department in Hassan Sadikin Hospital for the management of oral ulcers. The patient complained of pain on the red palate four days ago. She had fever and swelling on the palate. She has history of chickenpox when she was a child but didn't have any history of recurrent oral ulcers and no cutaneous lesion in the skin. She was hospitalized for one week. One week before hospitalization, she tested negative for SARS-CoV-2. The right and left supernubular window were palpable and painful. During the internal examination, painful ulcers lesions were found on the right side of the heart palate. The ulcers were superficial, multiple, oval to round with 2 until 5 mm in size. The second right premolar was positive on percussion tests and the right heart palate was pain on palpation. The patient was diagnosed tentatively as suspected oral herpes zoster. One day after the examination, the patient underwent a PCR SARS-CoV-2 test in preparation for cystoscopy surgery and the result was positive. Based on the examination and test, the diagnosis was oral lesion associated with COVID-19 with differential diagnosis oral Hasper zoster virus, and the patient was treated with povidone iodine mouthwash. The patient was also treated with paracetamol, insulin, candesartan, atrovastatin, and amlodipine. After one week, lesions on the palate was healed, and the patient still recommend to continue gargling with povidone iodine mouthwash up to maximum of two weeks. From PCR SARS-CoV-2 test result, we found that there were an increase of CT value of the patient. The patient was hospitalized for 16 days, and one month after being diagnosed with COVID-19, she was recovered from the disease. Next is discussion. Amyl cancer converting enzyme 2 or S2 receptors are the main receptor for SARS-CoV-2 and have been found on the oral mucosal epithelial cells. S2 receptors found abundant in the tongue and salivary gland which makes oral mucosa susceptible to SARS-CoV-2 infection. Oral manifestation in COVID-19 presumably causes directly or indirectly. Directly because vascular inflammation such as manifestation on the skin and oral ulcers are thought due to an increase in TNF-alpha causing neutrophil chemotaxis to the mucosa or indirectly due to stress and therapeutic medication. There are many oral manifestations of COVID-19 lesions such as ulcerative, vesicobulous, or erythematous macular lesion, and most commonly found in palate, dorsum of the tongue, labial mucosa, gingiva, buccal mucosa, or pharynx or tonsil. Maticaras peras et al. reported unilateral multiple ulcers on the palate of two patients with suspected COVID-19 and these clinical features are similar with our case. The common oral manifestation of viral infections are ulcerated lesion 
or multiple vesicles on the keratinous mucosa. In our case, the patient show multiple ulcerated lesion on the palate, which mimic the manifestation that appear in other viral infection. Herpazoster is a reactivation of varicella zoster virus and has manifestation of unilateral multiple vesicular lesion with erythematose base that are generally confined to one dermatome and one preceded by prodrome symptoms. The diagnosis of herpes zoster is often made based on the characteristic of clinical manifestation. There was a similarity of the lesion in this case report with herpes zoster. It was an ulcerative unilateral lesion which was preceded by prodromal symptoms. However, at the time we were hesitate to make the diagnosis of oral herpes zoster because the patient had no extraoral manifestation of herpes zoster but she got fever three days before, and COVID-19 patients with shingles have been found. The patient has a typical manifestation of herpes zoster, and it is stated that in this pandemic condition, patients with shingles can be suspected of having COVID-19 infection. It's still not certain if there is a relationship between shingles and COVID-19, whether shingles is closely related to COVID-19 or Single like lesion are the manifestation of COVID-19. Treatment of oral mucosal lesion associated with COVID-19 is based on etiology. Using an antiseptic mouthwash, topical and systemic corticosteroid, antibiotics, as well as antifungals. In this case report, the patient was treated with povidone iodine mouth rinse. Povidone iodine is an antiseptic agent and has antimicrobial, anti-inflammatory, and antioxidant effects which can effective in helping one healing. Pofidin iodine is releasing free iodine which can cause microbial death where iodine will penetrate the microbes and disrupt the protein and oxidize the structure of nucleic acid. Crucial activity of pofidin iodine against SARS-CoV-2 makes pofidin iodine important as an infection control which can reduce the transmission with a safe concentration to use. The lesions healed after one week. Oral mucosal lesions associated with COVID-19 can heal between 3 to 28 days. Martin Carreras Presas et al. stated that the healing of unilateral multiple asas lesions resolved within 10 days, which is similar with the healing time of the lesions in our case. The healing of the lesions in our patients was thought to be the effect of using pofidin iodine mouthwash which could reduce the SARS-CoV-2 viral load, causing the viral load in the saliva decrease and no new lesions appear. The increase in CD value was also thought to play a role in the patient's healing process. According to Rao et al., there is a relationship between viral load and CD value, where a high CD value indicating a low viral load. In our case, the healing of the lesions were consistent with an increase in the patient's CD value. In conclusion, oral manifestations of COVID-19 have been widely recognized, however, the pathognomonic lesion of COVID-19 are still uncertain. It is important for a dentist to know the manifestation that may appear in COVID-19 patients. As an effort for early detection and prevention of the transmission, because the oral manifestation in COVID-19 patients could mimic other viral manifestations, including herpes zoster. To the best of our knowledge, there are no case reports that have written the oral manifestation of COVID-19 accompanied by patient CT failure. This can be important to see the relationship between oral manifestation and CT failure. Our patient had a typical manifestation of viral infection, but we could not confirm whether it was really related to COVID-19 or not. Further studies are recommended to determine the relationship between SARS-CoV-2 and manifestation in the oral mucosa. Thank you for your kind attention.